If you want to get high paying video editing clients, this video is exactly for you. As you can see, this is one of the payments that I received from one of my clients. This client is in the US, in New York. As you can see, I got $130 for one video. The first strategy that I'm gonna show you in this video is extremely powerful. So some of you guys who watched my first how to get video editing clients tutorial, I showed you that you can utilize Upwork. This is one of the biggest freelancing websites and you can actually utilize that to find video editing projects and jobs very easily. As you can see currently, there is more than 7,000 video editing gigs on this website as of this moment. And you know what some people say, on Upwork, I cannot apply because you have to pay money, but I have a solution for you guys. As you can see, you need to find some identifiable information of the client in order to know how you can contact this client outside of Upwork. So as you can see, the art of living, this is a giveaway that this client is showing his information on this listing. So let's click on see more. So video editor needed to create impactful YouTube videos for social media channels. Okay, six hours ago, this was posted and this uh, agency is looking for YouTube video editor for the Art of Living Academy social media channels. So guys, and now you might think, okay, this is great, but like in order to really apply for this job, I need to sign up uh, to Upwork, which is fine. You can sign up for free, but to apply to this job, you have to pay some money for Upwork. That's how Upwork.com works. You have to pay in order to apply to these jobs, but not with my strategy. So what I showed you guys is that you can find, uh, you know, client identifiable information. In this case, it's the name of their channel. So you can go to Google or you can go to YouTube and Instagram and find this, uh, this exact company and then just send them a message and be like, I saw your advert on Upwork. I want to apply. Uh, and you know, here's my portfolio, but not only that, sometimes they even list the company name. So they did that in this case, it is called Sumeru Incorporated. All you need to do guys is, uh, you need to go to Google, type in their company name and uh, within literally just a couple of minutes, we got uh, this company. So this company right now is hiring on Upwork.com for a video editor for a YouTube channel and other social media channels. Guys, isn't this great? Yes, this is great. And also look at the rate that they are giving. It's 40. I I'm pretty sure it's $40 either per video or per hour. It doesn't specify, but of course, guys, it's not going to be $40 uh, per month. So it's got to be $40 per video or $40 per hour, which is great. And also when you scroll down here, they spend $38,000 on this website and an average price they pay for freelancers in video editing is $28 per hour. This is great. So I think it's safe to say that $40 is the effective rate in here. So what you would do now that you know that this agency is hiring, first of all, you can apply and you can say, I found your listing on Upwork.com. I want to apply for your video editing gig on YouTube. I'm a video editor. And this is what guys you would be doing for all the other listings. You have to then find their contact information. So. First of all, guys, you can then talk, for example, click on this button, right? And uh, you can send uh, your message this way. So, you know, you can send the message and click submit. The other thing that you can do, guys, is you can find their social media. So you can go to their LinkedIn page, right? And uh, you can send them a message to this page, okay? What you can also do is you can go to Instagram and likewise, you can uh, send them a message to this company. So guys, as you can see right now, this company is hiring for a video editor, as I showed you found on Upwork. And what you need to do guys is you can go 
back into this list and you can just scroll down and down and down and go through 7,000 listings that are currently active on this website and you can find more and more gigs. By the way, guys, this is another gig from the same company. Let's have a look at this. So for this one, they're looking for somebody to uh, edit their Instagram reels. You could do that again as a video editor, you could apply, it's actually the same company, so, and it's a remote position. For those of you guys who are video editors right now, for those of you guys who are drop servicers, it doesn't matter, because it's a remote position, you can be anywhere, you could be in India, you could be in Africa, you could be in Europe, you could be in the US, it doesn't matter, and this company is paying good rates, as you can see, average, hourly rate paid $28. So this strategy, guys, is extremely, extremely good and it's completely free. You can you can just go down and down and down and find a lot of these companies. And what you need to do, guys, is you need to find identifiable company information such as their company website, such as their company name, such as their channel, YouTube channel, Instagram, TikTok, whatever. That way, you can contact them outside of Upwork, but you should mention that you found their information on Upwork. Now, guys, this is just the first strategy. And by the way, guys, this next thing that I'm about to tell you is going to be very, very useful to you, especially if you are a beginner who's looking to get video editing clients. Now, I'm going to tell you how I got my first video editing client, which was this YouTube channel called Real Estate Doru. This channel was the first channel that replied to me and said that he is interested in working with me a few years ago, okay? I had pretty much no experience. This was literally the very first person who said, yes, I want to work with you. By the way, guys, for the context, I personally am not a video editor. The way I work is I have an agency and I hire video editors, I find clients, and then I get the difference between what the editor is costing me and what the client is paying me, okay? So I do a business model called drop servicing, but whether you are an individual video editor or a drop servicer, it doesn't matter. You can make money both ways. So with this client, what I wanted to show you guys, one of the best strategies to find YouTube clients for video editing is like this. So you find a YouTuber that you think is going to need video editing. Maybe they already have a video editor. Maybe they don't have a video editor and or maybe they want to change their video editor for whatever the reason. You can click on this section. There used to be an about section, but this is now gone. YouTube has changed this, right? And you can find the contact information of the person. So first of all, guys, you can navigate to channel details, right? And you can see view email address. So if you click on I'm not a robot submit, you get the email address of this person. He is Nazar. I've worked with this guy. Of course, I delivered quite a lot of videos. By the way, guys, all of the previous clients that I'm going to be showing you in this uh, course, how to find video editing clients, these are all previous clients. Of course, I'm not showing any of my existing clients, so you guys don't apply. But, you know, feel free to apply to this guy if you're a video editor or a drop servicer. And, you know, hopefully he can hire you. And here's the thing, guys. What I'm going to show you right now is not only you can uh, email this guy or any other person on YouTube that way, but you can also find their social media information. So, for example, in this case, Nazar also has an Instagram page, so you can message him and say, look, I'm a video editor, this is what I'm offering, this is my portfolio. You can offer to them either shorts video editing, like these kind of things, or you can, of course, offer them long-form video editing. These are the two things, really, that you can offer. And actually, this was my first client who paid me, okay? So this client was the first client who I found completely with cold email, completely with cold messages, out of the blue. Like, I honestly had no idea 
how to do even video editing because as I said, I have an agency where I find video editors and I put margin on top, I resell their service. So for me, it was even more difficult because I'm not a video editor, yet I was able to get started in this industry and now it is very easy for me because I can get another client at a much higher rate get video editor to do the edit, and then, you know, I pocket the difference. So this person was the first person who said yes, but this wasn't the first person who actually paid me. So this person was like, you know what? I want to go ahead, but I need to film a few videos before I send you the footage. I'm sure if you're a video editor or you are a drop servicer, you're familiar with this situation. Clients are telling you, yes, I'm gonna get started, I'm gonna get started on this date, and yet they don't send you the footage, yet they don't get started, yet they don't send you a deposit. This is a frustration that I've had to go through, but, you know, uh, we live and learn. This YouTube channel called Success by Sanjana, uh, she is a brilliant YouTuber, uh, she's had some really big success on her channel. Some of her videos are approaching, you know, 100K, 200K, even 800,000 views. Very, very big amount, right? So it was a big jump actually going from this kind of channel uh, that didn't have that much success. So if we go to the popular videos, his biggest video is 187K views. At the time when I was working with this guy, this video was not there. So his largest videos were all under 100K. And this channel has had much more success, you know, so it was much harder for me to land a channel like this. But when you're starting as a video editor or as a drop servicer, you have to understand one thing. If you don't actually approach big successful channels and you don't actually try your luck, you don't try to get in contact with these kind of people, you don't do outreach, you don't send them emails, you never gonna work with big channels. It's just not gonna happen, guys. Big channels actually behave the exact same way as small channels do. And sometimes it is almost the same difficulty to get a small YouTuber to work with you as it is to get a much, much bigger YouTuber. So sometimes YouTubers who have 5,000 subscribers can be as picky for video editors as those who have 500,000 subscribers. Of course, it is easier to work with 5,000 subscriber uh, you know, channel. It is easier to land it as a client because they don't get that much interaction, don't get that many outreach messages and emails, right? Because the 500,000 one is probably getting 100 emails per, 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 per week about everybody offering them video editing services. So the strategy that you should be following as an individual video editor or as a drop servicer is that that I followed. So first of all, you have to get clients from 5,000 to 10,000 subscribers, and then guys, hopefully you can apply to bigger and bigger channels, build a portfolio along the way, and then start applying to even bigger channels who have 50K, uh, up to 100K subscribers, and hopefully, you know, overall, your portfolio is going to get better and better and better, so will your rates for editing those videos. Now, here's the thing, guys. Eventually, hopefully, you arrive to a client like this. This is also one of my previous clients of my video editing agency. As you can see, this client has over 2.17 million subscribers. Very big channel, okay? As you can see, over 400 million views. So this channel is absolutely huge. And you know, now, guys, what you can do is you can click on here, you can click submit, and you can get the email of this channel. As I said, guys, all of the previous clients that I'm talking about on this video, how to get video editing uh, clients on this course, I'm not working with these clients anymore. I've delivered videos to them. They were all of these people, my previous video editing clients, but now feel free to apply to them if you want, okay? I don't have any working relationship with them right now. Bro, listen to this. Now, I wanna show you, realistically, if you wanna get to these kind of clients, you need to also understand that the quality expectations are actually quite high. Okay, so at this rate, once you get to these kind of clients with millions of subscribers, I'm gonna show you one of the examples of my 
video editing agency what we delivered one of the videos to this client. Let's have a look. At this point, we've all seen this guy on Twitter or TikTok somewhere. Andrew Tate is a 35 year old. Won a okay, so this client essentially what he said is this was a while ago, by the way, guys. So 47K views, over 2K likes. And this guy, what he said is, you know what? I'm going to give you the voiceover, you know, the thing that he speaks about. Listen to it. Feel any guilt because no one cares and it's their problem, not mine. To what was in the video and taste. Yeah, so he speaks throughout the video. And then what I have to do, what my agency has to do, is we have to give him all the B-roll, right? So we have to get these videos ourselves, right? We have to go on YouTube, etc., uh, etc., et find all these B-roll images and stuff like that, sounds, put all this together, and then all he does is he just talks in the background and occasionally he, the he shows consensual. Uh, it's his a face. Uh, on on the actual video as you can see on here uh, let's go back uh, i think i think it should be somewhere around here yeah uh, this is the guy he is one of my previous clients and as you can see sometimes he shows his face but most of the video is completely faceless okay and sometimes he does some commentary so guys as you can see these kind of videos they have to be uh, edited in a very, very good quality if you expect to get to these kinds of, uh, you know, these kind of channels. Now, when we're talking about these kind of channels, much smaller ones or these ones, of course, the quality expectations are much lower. And that's why, guys, I really recommend that you, if you are a beginner video editor, if you are even you know, an intermediate video editor, you have to start with small channels because simply you're not going to have the quality to work with these kinds of channels, okay? And also the rates with these are going to be lower, but you can build your portfolio. You can, of course, uh, once you build your portfolio, start applying to bigger and bigger channels and eventually you get to these kind of channels. And then once you build up your portfolio, once you have these kind of channels that are very big, you can start raising your rates. Okay, with this client, as far as I remember, uh, the first video, he paid us around 40 bucks per, uh, it was like five to 10 minute video. Okay, so not very much. And then eventually, as he showed you initially on my phone, uh, at some point we got uh, to a point where one video was $130. Okay, so a lot higher rate. And now, as you can see, guys, uh, obviously, I'm telling you that I have a video editing agency. And uh, for example, if a video uh, client gives me $130, right? If I spend 30 bucks on uh, editing that video and I pay that to my video editor in Asia, I get $100 of profit, right? But for you, if you are a standalone video editor, right? If you are a video editor yourself, you would essentially get all that $130 excluding PayPal's fees as profit to yourself, okay? But in my case, I'm not a video editor and also I'm looking at it as an agency. It's just a business for me. You know, I'm not a video editor and uh, that's how I choose to do things. Now, guys, so as you can see, this strategy is very, very powerful. You can get clients by emailing them. Go to more about this channel. You can get their email. And of course, you can get uh, their social media information as well. So this guy, again, he has all the right things on there. There is his email. There is his Instagram. Uh, you've got TikTok and stuff like that. And you can, of course, email or message this guy and offer video editing. Just be like, look, man, you know, what are you currently paying for your video editing? How is the turnaround currently? Maybe you need additional video editor. I know that this guy is working with two or three editors at any given point because he's just, you know, pushing these videos out as crazy. Okay, so you can apply and I'm going to be happy if you land this client. Now, guys, I'm going to show you another very, very powerful strategy, how to get video editing clients. I'm going to show you two strategies, how LinkedIn can work for you. And I found clients myself using these both strategies. So first strategy is using uh, LinkedIn search where you type in, for example, video editor jobs, or you can type in video editing jobs. What's essentially going to happen, guys, is you have to choose posts. Okay, so we're currently searching posts. We're not searching LinkedIn jobs. It is a completely different thing. So, and guys, what you can see is you go down, right? And I've got an urgent requirement for a freelance video editor for an app in London tomorrow. 
And what essentially you can do is you can message this guy, add him to friends and message and say, look, I'm a video editor. I'm not based in London, but give me the footage. I'm happy to edit it on a remote basis. And you know what? A lot of video editors these days work on a remote basis from their house. So it is very likely that this person is going to agree if you offer a good price and you have a good portfolio. Again, another one, looking for a full-time editor to join my team, can be in London or remote, can be outside of the UK. So guys, as you can see, this is exactly the type of thing that I'm talking about. And you know this guy, this is Ali Abdal. Okay, so one year ago, he was looking for a video editor on here. If you're a video editor, you're very likely to know this guy. And you can apply like this. So you have to stay on top of the game and monitor LinkedIn because it is very common for people to post jobs like this. Another guy you might know, Stephen Barlett. Oh, six months ago, I'm looking for a full-time trailer editor for Diary of a CEO. We're seeking a talented and creative editor uh, to join our production team. Again, guys, a lot of these positions are actually remote. You've seen this guy probably, right? And as you can see, of course, a lot of people are applying for these kind of jobs. But there is a lot of these jobs, guys. That's the thing. You can scroll and uh, find loads and loads and loads of these jobs. Overall, across the world, probably there is going to be thousands of these jobs, if not tens of thousands. Again, we are hiring. I'm searching for an awesome social media video editor to join our rapidly uh, growing creative team. Here is the email. Drop me a brief email explaining why you'd be the right person and also show me some examples of work. Guys, it took me, what, about three minutes uh, to find someone's email address who is currently hiring, as you can see, five hours ago. Uh, this is amazing. And you can go back uh, into this uh, list. And again, hey guys, my team and I are looking for video editors. This was eight months ago, but you know, guys, this is the thing. You can, of course, what you can do is you can do past month, for example. Let's do that and let's see what kind of results we're going to get. So, uh, this guy we already saw, uh, this uh, girl we already saw, uh, let's go down, I'm currently looking, recruiting for this position, senior video editor one day ago, video editors required, uh, let's go down, this is for YouTube, uh, again, uh, applications, right, so freelance writer, journalist, video editor, okay, and here is the email, guys. As you can see, guys, this is incredible strategy. And a lot of people don't know about this. It is a very, very powerful strategy because most people, when they come to LinkedIn, they think about, okay, if I want to find a job as a video editor uh, or I want to find clients as a video editor, if it's on the remote basis or in-house basis, doesn't matter. Most people just think, LinkedIn has their jobs platform. And, you know, if I apply it there, that's the only strategy. But actually, by using this strategy, you can find completely different results. LinkedIn jobs platform is for companies, for brands, who are paying money to advertise and actually have their own listing where people can apply to a job. But for posts, uh, you don't have to pay. So all of these pages were hiring like that. Uh, you know, they, uh, they, 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 they really don't have to pay. This is an organic way for them. And this is the second strategy that is also good. But I think that this strategy is actually more competitive. So what you can do is you can type in video editor, uh, for example, position, video editor job, or just video editor, choose United States, click search. And as you can see, we currently have over 187 results for video editors in the United States. But the key, guys, is, as you can see, video editor, independent contractor, remote. Well, yeah, right? New York City metropolitan area. Guys, this is what we need. We need remote video editor positions. Again, United States remote, right? As you can see, salary, 85 to $95,000 per year, two weeks ago. And again, remote position, right? Part-time. A freelance video editor. Most of the time, guys, what you can also uh, try is uh, even if it says on site or if it doesn't say on site or if it says hybrid, whatever, 
you can see the company name, right? You then go on to Google, you find that company and you send them an email and say, look, uh, let's say, uh, dear, uh, let's say, let's say, let's say, let's say, let's actually look into Manhattan Beach Studios, okay? Let's do a quick test. So we go on Google, right? And uh, duplicate this. And uh, we're going to type this one in and we're going to find this page on Google. We're going to see if we can see their contact information. Okay, so we go down. This is a very, very good and interesting potential client. Uh, look, email is there. Look at the bottom, Mark N at ManhattanBeachStudios.net. And also we've got a uh, phone number, we've got Instagram, right? So we can send them a message on there as well, right? Okay, they have a link tree. Maybe there is more contact information, okay? So no, there isn't. But the main point is, guys, I found their email address very, very quickly. So guys, you can apply and you can just say, look, I found your video editor job on LinkedIn. I'm interested in applying for this job. So you can send an email to them on here because currently they're hiring guys, okay? And it is very difficult uh, to find these kind of opportunities. So guys, I hope that you're finding a lot of value in this video. If yes, then drop a like and subscribe to my channel right now because I'm gonna be posting a lot of content about video editing, getting clients, drop servicing, and things like that. So guys, carrying on, again, remote position, West Hollywood, you know, what are the rates do you think in West Hollywood? If you are a good video editor, for example, right, if you are very, very good in terms of editing, if your portfolio is very, very good, you can hopefully uh, try and apply for these kind of jobs, even in West Hollywood. And you know, regardless of where you live, guys, this is a remote position. You could be in India for all I care and you can land this job. Your portfolio is everything, okay? And here's the thing, guys. Even as a drop servicer, you can be brave and apply to like Hollywood-based companies. But of course, guys, one note, if you're applying to companies in around uh, Los Angeles and Hollywood, your portfolio and your quality is going to have to be spectacular because most of the time, this is this is where the TV industry, this is where the film industry is actually produced. Of course, there's a lot of jobs, right? When it comes to video editing, but the quality that these guys expect in that location, in West Hollywood, in and around Los Angeles is going to be crazy, guys. By the way, this, uh, this uh, client that I showed you is from LA, okay? So I worked with a client who lives uh, very close to uh, to Hollywood. But the point is, guys, what I'm saying is this strategy is very effective. So you can find companies, you can see what they're paying, go on Google, search their name, find their email address and apply. You can, of course, apply on here as well, but then you need a LinkedIn account, but you can do that or you can apply here. You can also apply there and send your portfolio, guys, okay? I hired so many video editors in my agency over the last few years. The worst thing I see is when somebody applies and they say, I've got 10 years of experience editing videos, five years of experience editing videos. For Christ's sake, where is your portfolio, right? <laughs> there is no portfolio. And I, I, I'm, I'm just reading that text, but like, where is your portfolio? This is the main thing, guys. Okay, most of these companies, most of these clients, YouTubers, video editing agencies, uh, and, and stuff like this, they want to see your portfolio. In the first contact that you make, you have to have portfolio. Okay, guys, let's move on to the next strategy. And the next strategy is utilizing recruitment websites. Most of the watchers of my channel, you guys, the lovely bunch, you know, you can be from all over the world. And I know, guys, that a lot of you are from South Africa, from US, UK, India, so many different countries. What I want you guys to do, I want you guys to go to indeed.com slash jobs, video editor, search for that, click remote and type in video editor remote. This is what I want you guys to do. Because when you find a remote position, look, setup availability, remote, work from home, creating a content specialist, Latin America, remote, 
Okay, let's go down. We're looking essentially for people more happy, uh, you know, to remote in, remote in. Let's go down. Another thing, guys, uh, yeah, video, remote, video editor, shorts, shorts, remote, uh, contractor. Most of the time, this means you're going to be remote. Remote, again, only 10 hours per week, but it depends on the rate. You know, if the rate is very, very high, uh, then, of course, you know, it's a very good one. Look, for example, this guy, uh, 20 to $50 per hour, part-time, full-time video editor, remote. So you can apply here or what you can do, guys, again, using my strategy, whatever the website that you use for finding video editing uh, clients or jobs, you can find identifiable client information and you can contact them that way. As you can see here, we're seeing the company name. Okay, what we can do with that company name, of course, we can go on Google, right? Duplicate this page. Let's copy this name in there, right? Film Twist Productions, okay? Uh, this is this agency. Let's go to their website and see if we can find their company information on there that we can apply with. So as you can see, this is what they do, these guys, right? Let's go down. Uh, so yeah, they, they actually don't have video editing services. This is great, guys. Maybe they are gonna be hiring a lot of video editors. So... Guys, and this is their email. Right now, this company is actually hiring for a video editor. I know that because have a look at this. 20 to $50 per hour, and it's a remote position. You can apply in here, guys, okay? These jobs are paying a lot of money. You know, for example, if you're from South Africa or India, if you can get up to $50 per hour, you're going to have a very, very good standard of living with just one client. You don't even need more clients, okay? So, guys, this is another strategy. You can go on Indeed, go through all these companies, and then, of course, apply directly through their website, send them an email, and, of course, you can apply through Indeed, but I recommend outreaching directly to the uh, company. Now, let's go and talk about the next strategy, guys. Instagram, okay? Instagram is very, very effective as well to find video editing clients. What you can do is you go to search and you type in video editing jobs and choose hashtags. You're going to go on here. Now, guys, as you can see, looking for video editor. Okay. And we've got some page boys looking for video editor. Minimum four years video editing, showcasing ability to handle different types of content effectively. And this is their email. Again, guys, you can apply. This was posted one day ago. Guys, you must be getting a lot of value. And also, if you guys know other video editors would benefit from this knowledge, we're looking for work. Share this video with your friends. I would really appreciate that because it takes a lot of time to show you all these strategies, to plan these videos, to make these videos, okay? So I would really appreciate that, honestly. Now, here's the thing, guys. What is good about this uh, strategy is that you can find a lot of companies. Again, another company that is hiring right now, as you can see, this is their email. So for example, I, in this case, as you can see, this I think is in India. So for example, if you are from India, you could potentially uh, send an email to this uh, company and apply and see if they are hiring right now. Another one, let's have a look at this. This has been a while ago posted, okay? But uh, you can find a WhatsApp number. You can apply that way as well. Now, you can modify these keywords and type in video editor uh, job. Uh, for example, right? Video editor jobs. And again, we're hiring video editor. Uh, there is an email you can apply. So two days ago, male, female, doesn't matter. Experience one year. I don't know where this is, but it doesn't matter. Uh, the point is I'm just showing you a strategy so you can, of course, you know, go through a lot of these listings and find a lot of these different uh, hiring managers, right? You can then apply, get their emails, and you can modify these keywords. You can type in hashtag video editor. You can type in a uh, video editing agency and things like that. And then you find those agencies and you can find their email on their website or you can uh, send them a message on Instagram. 
Next strategy, guys, again, I hope that you're finding so much value. Please drop a like because this helps this video to reach more people and also share it to friends. Now, this strategy, guys, is very, very effective for finding US-based clients. A lot of video editors, especially from India, from Pakistan, uh, from similar kind of countries are interested in, in this question, like how do I get, uh, you know, US-based clients, US-based video clients. And uh, that is the way, guys, a very good strategy, craigslist.com. Okay, you can choose different locations. As you can see, I'm currently in New York, but you can you can change it to Long Island. Uh, it's a specific area of New York. You can change it to Chicago. Uh, you can change it to a lot of different cities. You can change it to California. You can change it to Los Angeles, and you can find a lot of these listings. Currently, it is actually quite difficult to know how many video editor listings uh, there are right now on Craigslist. Let's see, for example, uh, this uh, this listing. Let's see what it says. So, uh, looking for someone to edit my basketball video, similar to this video I saw on YouTube, and I run b-ball camps. Okay, 18 days ago, compensation, 4K is all I can afford. I don't understand what he means. Is it 4,000 per month or how does it work, whatever, but you can reply to this guy and, and inquire, you know, what is that 4K? Now, uh, another thing, music video editor, uh, needed again uh, getting music project off the ground I need video editor uh, depending on the editing I can pay between 50 to 200 dollars per uh, you know per, per per video so uh, you can reply this was posted 28 days ago in New York area let's go down and see another one seeking talented video editor 20 minutes of raw footage spread over 17 files, each averaging about a minute. Okay. And of course you can reply here. Compensation is negotiable and, and it's looking again for a video editor 14 days ago. Remote is okay. Guys, honestly, I'm giving you so much value. If you're a video editor, if you're a drop servicer, it doesn't matter. I really hope that you're finding value in this video. Don't think that, oh, there's only 22 jobs, not that much. Yes, this is in New York area. If you go through another 500 areas, you're gonna find another 1,000 or 2,000 jobs. So, and you can apply to these positions. Some of these positions in the US are paying a lot. As you can see, up to $200 per video, which is quite a lot if you can edit that in like five or six hours, okay? Now, guys, let's talk about another very, very good strategy. And this is simple uh, recruitment websites. Now, this strategy is very similar to the one that I was talking about on here when I was talking about Indeed, but here I was talking about primarily freelance and remote positions, okay? And here I'm talking about slightly different twist on that idea. What I'm essentially talking about here, guys, is I'm talking about you applying to jobs, video editing jobs, okay? And most of the time, these jobs will not say uh, remote, will not say freelance, will not say hybrid. Hybrid means that you're sometimes in the office, sometimes out of the office. Here I'm talking about essentially video editing companies who simply are hiring video editors to sit in their office and they're paying, let's say, 45000 up to uh, 57000 Here, $65 per hour, $25 to $35 per hour. And what you can do, guys, is on these websites, you can find a lot of these companies, a lot of these companies, right? And you can do the exact same thing. Then you go on Google and uh, you type in that company name. Again, we found another company that is right now hiring a video editor, okay? So what you need to uh, do, guys, is you need to find their uh, contact information, right? So let's go down and see Instagram, right? So you can uh, send them a message, okay? Let's load. You can send them a message. Actually, this is a very, very good uh, client, potentially a design studio. So many followers. Wow, never heard of it. Uh, let's go to the Contact Us uh, page. Yes, you can send them a message like that. They're not showing their email, uh, but that is great, guys, that you can send them a message. You can send them also a message on 
uh, on, on, on Instagram, of course, guys. So I just showed you how to find another potential client. And as you can see, guys, with these kind of clients, you don't need to have that many clients, guys. Just one client and your living is done. Okay, 45K to 57K. Of course, guys, usually how it works with these kind of positions that are not remote, right? And that are, you know, they're expecting somebody to actually be based in the US, sit in their office because look, they're going to give you health insurance, dental insurance, 401k, paid off time, vision insurance and stuff like this. So what essentially you need to do is when you message this company, you need to be straightforward and very, very, you know, upfront. You need to say, look, uh, I'm... I, I'm interested in that position that I saw on simplyhired.com. So I see that you're interested in hiring a junior video editor. Uh, I'll be I'll be honest, I can only work on a remote basis, but you know, I can accept let's say $25,000 per year or $30,000 per year. So twice as little as they're charging. And I'm going to do all the work that you need. Also, you don't have to pay 401k. Uh, I'm going to work as a contractor. Please give me a chance, give me some sample videos, you know, if it works out, you can hire me. If not, you can get somebody to work full-time. It's going to cost you a lot more money, stuff like this. Okay. A lot of people uh, will actually agree to have a chat with you uh, if you have a good portfolio. Again, it all depends on your portfolio. Whether you are applying as an individual video editor or as a drop servicer, you know, reselling someone else's video editing as essentially as an agency, it doesn't matter. All depends on your portfolio. If you have very good portfolio, even people like that can reply to you and you can land clients like this, guys, okay? Now, let's talk about one more website, remote.co. This website is about finding remote video editing jobs and other remote jobs. So again, guys, as you can see, see all uh, online editing jobs. So video editor, again, uh, let's go down. Freelance video editors. Again, this was posted recently. See all online editing jobs. There's more again, $28 per hour. And again, for two months with ability to continue as contracted. Again, we are getting their company name on here. Again, you can, of course, apply like this. So you can apply for this job or what you can do, guys, is uh, you can, what you can do is uh, you can Google their name, find their contact information. I'm going to do it again, guys, because I want to show you how this is done. SaaS Academy team. So this company is hiring right now for video editors. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go down and, uh, find uh, their contact information. Right. Where is the contact us? Uh, so yeah, you can send them a message on LinkedIn. You can send a message uh, by on Facebook. Uh, you can uh, send them a message this way as well. Just be like, I'm applying for video editor position. Uh, who should I talk to? Please give me your email. Also, you can, uh, you know, you can, you can message them on LinkedIn, on Instagram, and you can click on contact us, send them a message that way as well. They're not showing an email, but there's plenty of ways to, to, to really contact them. Okay. So guys, this was almost everything, but I've got one more strategy. What you can do is you can go to the gen generic google.com and you can uh, type in, for example, video editing agency, California, video editing agency, New York, video editing agency, uh, USA, and stuff like this. And you can go on Google and find them, or you can go straight to Google Maps and you can browse through different uh, websites. For example, this one. Let's go to this website and what we would do, guys, is this is a video editing agency. Okay, so how they usually work is usually they shoot the, the content, you know? So they shoot the content, commercials, brand videos, uh, YouTube videos, educational videos, crowdfunding videos. So with this company, the strategy is completely different. So as you can imagine, this company already has a lot of video editors, a lot of clients, and we're essentially offering outsourcing services. Okay, if you're a video editor, you can just apply to this agency and you can say, look, I'm a video editor. I can work on a remote basis and uh, you know, I'm gonna charge two times less than your editors were charging in Austin, okay? Or Santa Monica, California, okay? So they've got locations in pretty wealthy US 
you know, locations. So, you know, if you're a remote video editor, if you live abroad, if you live in a country where you're able to live on less money, you can just be upfront, straightforward, and you can just say, look, I'm willing to work on a remote basis and uh, I'm going to charge two times less than your staff. I'm happy to get paid 20000 25000 per year. I'm going to do whatever the work you want. One client and you can make a living. You know, of course, if you're drop servicing, this would be a bit more difficult, this strategy, because this is a full-time work usually. And they're going to give you footage all the time and you're going to be constantly involved. So, you, you know, it could work as drop servicing, but then you would have to hire essentially a freelancer for full-time position and essentially you would be as an agency. So I've done that plenty of times, guys, where I just hire a video editor typically from Asia, either from India or Philippines. And uh, I just hire them on a full-time basis if I have a regular client. So with this kind of thing, you cannot just go on Fiverr. You cannot just go on Upwork and, and, and have like a one-off, uh, you know, couple of videos edited. No, for this kind of thing, you have to find, you know, a person that is going to work full-time. And then, of course, uh, when you apply uh, to these people, that person, that full-time person that you hire is going to have to work, you know, every single day for just one client. The only thing that you need to be mindful about, guys, is if you work with clients like these who are in TV production, were in movies production, you know, in like extremely high quality video editing production, what you're going to need to have if you are a video editing yourself is you're going to have an extremely powerful computer to render very big files, okay? Sometimes these files can be 100 gigabytes, 200 gigabytes, etc. So like very, very big files. And also another thing, let's say if you live in a country where, uh, you know, your internet speed isn't very fast, sometimes for you to download 200 gigabytes, then edit it and then send back 200 gigabytes could be actually quite challenging. It could take you like a day or two, okay? So these are the two factors that you really need to consider. But guys, this strategy is very, very good as well. You can go through a lot of these, uh, you know, these companies go down, 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 and you also can change these keywords. Another term you can use is video production company. This is how it's usually called, at least in LA, in, in Hollywood, et cetera, et cetera. Usually this is called video production company. So, and again, with these keywords, you're now seeing different results. If I type in, let's say, uh, New York, I'm going to get even different results. Some people are sponsoring this, you know, so a bunch of different companies that you can apply for. But if you still need help, even after watching this video and applying all of these strategies, you can join my mentoring program. I've got a free month mentoring program where I teach you how to find clients, how to start your own video editing, graphic design, web development, drop servicing agency. I've got a lot of people currently mentoring with me from US, UK, Australia, France, uh, India, etc, etc. If you want to join my mentorship, if you want to learn directly from me, if you want me to advise you on growing your agency or growing your client list as an individual editor or a drop servicer, drop me an email here and we can talk about it. Thanks for watching this video. Drop a like for the YouTube algo. Subscribe to my channel. I'm going to see you in the next video.